Um, Dr. Ubi, you've been running the International Digital Government Index for 17 editions now, so close to two decades. From your perspective, what is it that governments do right when they succeed in their digital transformation? And what are the type of data sets that you see them rely on, both internally, externally, and what are the type of data sets that, that you rely on in, in your assessment of 60 plus different national initiatives and countries? Yeah. Thank you very much. And, uh, uh, as I'm a professor of the uh, Waseda University of Tokyo, Japan, and uh, working for uh, in international data government rankings for two decades, which he said. And uh, data government, we think about the uh, historical trend, because data government has only 25 to 30 years history in, in the world. At when they started, they didn't have a 5G smartphone. Only internet just starting. And very few people understand the FATSI data government. So after 30 years. We have the uh, AI, IoT, blockchains, and other destructive technologies all over the world. So uh, historical trends, uh, as an observer of the uh, digital government, they have some uh, technology gap between among countries. That's one thing. And second one is the uh, shortage of manpower on the uh, qualified ICT expert or even chief information officer, CIO. I have been president of International Academy of CIO for uh, one decade. And activity of chief information officer has been changed, evolved like a, a digital transformation. At the time when we started the uh, Academy of CIO, main activity is information, chief information. But for 20 years, chief investment officer, chief intelligence officer, chief innovative officer. So we have the more uh, broader uh, responsibilities of chief information officer. I think we had to better think about the uh, change of the uh, top leader of the ICT or digital societies. So talking about CIO issues, I really propose the uh, new type of the uh, top leader in digital world is CIDO, Chief in Innovation and Digital Officer. That's can cover all the issues which we are facing with right now. So uh, leadership is really important. Then we need the, such kind of the uh, highly qualified expert as the human resource development for manpowers. So we need the uh, universities and uh, industries, of course the uh, government itself, needs the, a, a kind of the coordination to make the more capacity building as a priorities. 